YouTube, it's Faye, and for today's video, I am inside of Grim Repo, my 1998 Toyota 4Runner, and uh, <clears throat> I'm inside because I'm going to tackle an issue that has been plaguing me. This terribly wobbly shifter. All right, so I'm going to start by lifting up this trim piece. Move like that. There are two tabs here and two tabs here. Then I'm going to take my number two Phillips screwdriver and remove these four screws. Now, if you feel like the shifter is getting into your way, you can always grab your pocket screwdriver and push down on this little lever, and then you can move the shifter wherever you want. And removing this little wire harness from the plastic bracket. Aww. And you want to disconnect your little prindle light by just turning lefty loosey. And then remove these four 10 millimeter bolts that hold the shift assembly onto the body. Now I'm just removing this wire harness from its metal retainers. And now back again with my same number two Phillips screwdriver. I'm moving the shifter to the rear of the car and removing the two screws that are on the front of the shifter face. Now careful as you pull this up because this is gonna come out. This just to get this out of the way and expose the underneath a little bit more. So that's really the only reason why I, I did that. I'm not gonna disconnect it. See, it's nice and loose and it's out of my way. Now we can start to see where some of this looseness is coming from. If I move this back and forth, obviously it's exacerbated the further up the shifter it goes, but this gap right here and on the other side. So in case you're wondering why this is happening, why there's so much play, it's because over time, these bushes <laughs> just like, disintegrated and fell apart. And here's what they look like. There's two of them and they did not cost very much. It cost a whole dollar and 78 cents. <laughs> grabbing my paint pen here before I disassemble this. I'm gonna mark where my shifter is at since there's a lot of room for adjustment here and loosening and removing this nut with my 14 millimeter wrench. And so I don't lose anything, just gonna replace this hardware in the order that I removed it back onto the shifter arm. So now back inside the car, I just have a couple of electrical connectors to disconnect here. I've got this big white one in the back. That one out of the way, and then I've got this little one in front here for the shifter itself. Actually, it's like it's two. Oh, nope, they're connected. Never mind. I just have one. I just have one. And now, okay, so here we go. Now I got this part out of there. All right, so now that I got this guy out of the car, I'm gonna start by removing this lower rubber here. Just take a pocket screwdriver and push out these little guys. And there are four of them. Those just kind of keep the rubber formed into the holes. Now that they're out, I'll be able to push the rubber through. So now this is out of the way. There is a nut and a locking washer. So on one side we have a 14. On the other side we have a 12. So we've got our lock washer and our nut. Set those aside and sneak out our little bolt. <laughs> I think some of the old bushing just came out of there. 
All right, so let me grab my new bushings now. Okay, so here's our little new bushing. I've just got some grease. Some regular old wheel bearing grease, actually. Apply a little bit of grease to the outside and the inside of the bushing. Just enough so that I make a total mess. <laughs> Here's my other one. Doobie. Actually, not, not too much. That's a little excessive. Not too much because I don't want to attract a bunch of dirt in there. So, take a peek. I'm just sliding it in there and that is it. And then sticking it back into position here. Obviously, it's going to be a little bit tighter since there's less space now. Actually, I'm going to lube up. I'm going to lube up this guy too. My little washer and my little nut. And you've heard me say so many times that installation is just the reverse of removal, so I won't bore you with putting all of this back together. Oh wow, that feels nice and solid now. It feels like good to shift. Like I wish I shifted more often now. I mean I did anyway, but <laughs> now I really wish I shifted more often. Thanks for watching this video. I hope that you enjoyed it. And if you did, give me a thumbs up if you feel like it. And I will see you in my next video. Okay, bye. God, she's a mess. How gross this is. <laughs> By the way, that's what you're pushing down on in order to move the shifter. Thank you. Thank you. Bye.